In the world of graphics cards, I think we can all agree that the 5090 is currently the flagship no-compromise GPU for those that want the absolute best. But there's another graphics card by NVIDIA that can sometimes beat the 5090 in raw performance. Some might even call it the 5090 Ti, although this is a little too optimistic because there's a massive price difference and they're targeted for fundamentally different users. We're talking about the RTX Pro 6000. The 5090 on the top is a high-end consumer GPU for gamers and creators, while the Pro 6000 on the bottom is a professional workstation card, both using the Blackwell architecture. The Pro 6000 offers triple the memory, 96 gigabytes compared to 32, with 24,064 CUDA cores versus 21,760 for the 5090, and uses workstation drivers, making it superior for large AI or high-performance compute tasks. The 5090 is generally a better value for gaming with its game-ready drivers, although the Pro 6000 can beat the 5090 in some games due to its fuller chip implementation. The 5090 is targeted mostly for gamers, streamers, and content creators seeking top-tier performance, but the Pro 6000 is ideal for professionals handling massive datasets, large AI language models, complex simulations, and 3D rendering where ECC or error-correcting code and massive VRAM are critical, justifying the significantly higher cost. If you want a full deep dive into their specs to understand their massive price difference, I made a full video comparing them that you can find on my channel.